as we're changing into seasons, do you need to maybe go get some firewood or move some pavers or get some mulch or move some sand? What do we normally think about moving stuff, right? This bad boy is big. It's heavy, it's intimidating, it's probably all rusted and gross, and it also is probably such an eyesore in your garage or in your shed or something, because it's taking up so much room. I, I'm gonna take these, these two hours and say, it, we're just talking about old, outdated things, right? This wheelbarrow is outdated, it's super duper heavy. Uh, I'd have to ask my husband to help just with an empty wheelbarrow. Let's go to 2023. What if I could give you still a wheelbarrow that holds 100 pounds of whatever it is that you have to move, but what if it only weighed under $10? Or 10 pounds, I wish it was under $10. Uh, it was under 10 pounds just for the wheelbarrow, look at that. It folds up when you're not using it, fold it up, tuck it away, hang it on the wall, put it wherever it is that you want. That is what we call 2023 technology. Um, whether, no matter what are, you know, whatever you're using it for, this is the one that you need to grab for you, your parents, your auntie, your nephew. For $59.99 in free shipping, we're gonna show you all the different ways to use this with Carrie Mobley, who's joining me this morning. I can't believe that is basically this. <laughs> I mean, this is pretty incredible that I can walk in carrying a wheelbarrow. I mean, this is archaic, you're right. Yeah. And if you really think about how often you use your wheelbarrow and how much space it's taking up, is it really worth it? Check this out. I can easily open it up and close it, seal it, and hang it. And like you said, less than 10 pounds, but holds a capacity of 100 pounds. I love that it has this no flat tire on it because you guys know if you have one of these wheelbarrows, one of the problems is this tire is always flat. It's really impossible to store. It takes up too much room. You completely nailed it when yeah. you said you need help using it. Yes. I use mine maybe twice a year and it's only when my <clears throat> college kids are home. Right. We aren't looking to mix concrete anymore, okay? <laughs> Were we ever looking to mix concrete? Right. right. This is very heavy duty. What I love about this wheelbarrow is it's light to medium duty. You can still easily move around heavy things, but when you're not using it, again, we fold it right up. We've got a nice hook and loop closure that we can just seal up so it doesn't open itself up right, just right there, and then we've got a handle on here. So you can just imagine, you know, my finger is a hook on the garage, uh, on mm -hmm. the wall, or, you know, you don't even have to hang it. You can see here, you can use it to lay mulch. I love this because dragging those bags around, they're so heavy. You can load this up with three, four bags and have no problem. Sand, rocks, soil, plants, your tools, or because now it's fall cleanup, we can easily rake leaves into it and make it easier yeah. for ourselves by then dumping those leaves into whatever bags so that you can dispose of them properly. But because it's this great heavy duty canvas material, you can even put logs in it. This is gonna be great if you like to have bonfires. Mm -hmm. I'm born and raised in Michigan, so the idea of having a fire in the fall, oh, it was one of the things that we absolutely lived for and it's going to be really easy to clean as well so go ahead get it dirty you know if you've got some soil in it it can just rinse really clean with a hose so again I mean it doesn't take me very long to show how it works but I also want you to see when it's folded up this is less than three inches less than three inches. You know, I've had a huge problem finding a place to store my giant, heavy, bulky, clunky wheelbarrow. This has just made my life easier. And I just have some, you know, samples back yeah. here and just kind of some ideas I wanna show you because this one is easy, so of course, you know, yeah. it's, it's easy to move around. But let's check out this <clears throat> one right here where we have it just stuffed with firewood. I mean, the roll on this is so smooth. And because it's got that no flat tire, you're never gonna have to worry about, oh my gosh, where is my air pump now? But it stays nice and balanced even when I move it around. It just feels really light. We've got great handles on it. 
you know, I love the idea of even just putting soil in it, mm -hmm. you know, so I can fill this up with several bags of soil. And because it's got that big tire in the front, that big wheel in the front, it's going to be able to go over sand, yeah. soil, grass. It'll be perfect for that. Load it up with shells if you have some pretty decor with that. Now, of course, I always like to show leaves because mm -hmm. that's what autumn is about. I yeah. love the falling leaves, but having the right tools makes a big difference. So I've got this kind of stuffed up with my works blower and some garden tools and lots of leaves in here. It's so easy to take the tools out and then have like a little bag there and easily dump all those leaves into that bag. That way you don't have to get your hands dirty. You don't have to break your back. And again, how often are we really buying just, you know, one bag of mulch yeah. at a time? So let's put two or three in here. We can wheel them to wherever we're going. I just think this is going to make everybody's life so much easier, Tina. Well, think about it. If you have one of these old school ones that are heavy, by the way, it's wooden handles. I always get splinters whenever oh, I do so touch it, right? Too. Yes. Uh, it's just heavy. It's very intimidating. It's taking up a bunch of room in your shed, in your garage, outside, whatever it is. If you have one of these, what year did you buy this baby, right? <laughs> You've had it probably forever and ever and ever. You know that a wheelbarrow is just one of those. You need to have it somewhere, right? You know you need it at some point. You're going to need it. But let's say goodbye to this one. Let's get rid of it finally. And you could stop being like, oh my gosh, it's taking up so much room. Yep. Or, you know, you're nagging the hubby to be like, can we get rid of that wheelbarrow? Yeah. No, because at some point I am going to need it for something. Do an investment for three months. Toss is 20 bucks for three months. And you are going to have a wheelbarrow that it's peace of mind you have. It's not taking up space. When Carrie walked out here, it literally looked like she had a folding chair. Like I'm going to sit down in a ball game <laughs> yeah. or something with it, right? That's what it looked like. Um, it's so super easy. It's 2023. Why didn't we think of this earlier? You put 100 pounds in it. But itself, it only weighs less than 10 pounds. Yep. Now, I don't need firewood, Carrie, but I live in a, you know, there's a city close by here that's yes. known for having a lot of trees. That's of where course. I live, okay? Yeah. Um, every time we have a storm, a hurricane or anything, the amount of limbs and branches oh, yep. in my entire property, we have like a big, you know, area, they're everywhere. So normally I'd have to go and pick them up and put them in, oh, you I know, know, a trash can. And yes. I'm, I'm, I'm taking this trash can. This would be perfect. I could just wheel it along along with me, put all the branches and limbs as I go. When I'm done, fold it up, throw it on the wall, and I know next storm, I'm ready to pick up my yard again. Right, and we're, you know, we are talking light to medium duty. So this isn't just, you know, like basically dragging a bag around. This is that good yep. heavy duty canvas material that's, you know, almost indestructible. You can see the inside has that shine to it. This is what's gonna make it great for you to just rinse it out with a hose when it gets dirty. And again, the best part about this is this footprint that you no longer have taking up space. Again, I ask you, how often do you really use that big, heavy, archaic yeah. wheelbarrow? I had a huge issue. My homeowners association, they don't like the fact that I store mine outside on the side of my house. Uh, I have tried to keep it hidden. You cannot hide yeah. that eyesore. But we've got four boys, so we have lots of cars, and that's prime real estate in my garage. Yeah. Imagine just being able to fold this up, hang it, and even if you don't have any hooks, you can just, again, kind of seal it up with that hook and loop enclosure and just set it against a wall, even in the trunk of your car. So if you have to go, and I don't want to get into this too much, but if you have to go and get, you know, a lot of bags of heavy dog food or yeah. cat litter, you can keep this in the car. You know, somebody will help you bring it to your car, but when you get home, you can unload this baby, oh, yeah. reel it right into the garage and make it easier for yourself. This is going to be the best investment. And the question is, what are you gonna do with that when you're done? Do you know what I did with my old one? I turned it into a planter. Oh. I did, so I've got little beautiful drippy flowers coming out of it. It already had a yeah. rust hole in the bottom of it. You know yours <laughs> has those rust holes coming. <laughs> well, I, I'm telling you, if you are, you are yes, Tina, I do own this one. I have it. I don't like it, but I don't get rid of it because I know the moment I do, yeah. I'm going to need a wheelbarrow for something, so it's this, like, love-hate relationship. Let's get a new boyfriend. Let's get oh, the upgraded. So we're, go, we're going with the real deal. Hey, how you doing? You, right? <laughs> They're more functional. They're sleek. Yes. They're younger. We like this version way uh, better. Tina, you know, that right? reminds me. Happy anniversary. Happy oh five my years goodness, to you. Thank you. Oh, you have oh been such a gosh. wonderful addition to the network, and we're so oh, happy to have you. Carrie, that was so sweet.
Me, of thank course, you. Of I know, isn't it weird? Five years like flew by totally, so yes. strangely. Like time is funky. Um, I would say my kids four. I'll always know I was here. Mm -hmm. uh, I came here and made a baby. <laughs> I Aww. love it. Okay. Mary, thank you so my so much. Enjoy. Um, I want to walk over here because I want to talk about one more thing. So we're talking about the changing of seasons, or maybe you have critters, you have squirrels, or some other weird things that eat your plants.